to go for a different look here. Samuel Dallenbear is checked in for right. Nowitzki comes in for Crowder. Sean Marion is checked in for Vince Carter. And it's Calderon in for Devin Harris. Calderon with it. Now guarded by Reddick. Here's Ellis. The shot's good on the assist by Calderon. Calderon's got four assists in the game. As you said about the Mavs, sixth in the league in fast break points, and a lot of that was due to their passing, Steve. Yeah, when you have Dirk and the other bigs that they have, it, they can get a break going in a hurry if you don't back up defensively. So it wasn't a surprise that they were up there in both fast break points and assists because of their, their fluid nature offensively. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Paul passes to Reddick. He feeds it to Crawford. And Dallenbear with the block. This has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of him. Novitski with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Fades back. Novitski, no good. You'd expect him to nail that one being that close to the hoop. Crawford. The Clippers keep it alive. Jordan dishes to Crawford over Calderon. That misses would have counted had it gone in. And we finish one half of basketball. The Mavericks on top. Leading by 10. Folks, stay tuned for the halftime show with Damon Bruce for all the highlights from our first half. And the second half about to start here in just a few moments. And the Clippers having all kinds of trouble defending against Carter. He's got 14 points, and free throws have been big for him today with six points from the line. Well, you know, he understands the value of those easy points. Also, you know, getting the opponent into foul trouble. And those are big. Those are the, the little things that will add up uh, for a team trying to get a victory. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Jack Rivers. Okay. Dudley and Griffin, your small and power forwards. CB3 and Jamal Crawford make the backcourt. And it's Jordan in a center locking down the middle. Oh. Dallas making a switch here. Carter's checked in. Samuel Dallenbear out of Haiti, guys. 6'11 with long arms. Um, that size makes him a fearsome rebounder and shot blocker and also a pretty good offensive rebounder as well. Carter with it. And Griffin picks him up defensively. Doubled by Dudley. Carter kicks to Calderon. And he's good on the three ball. Calderon's got five now. That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. And Dallenbear not just rebounder defended. He, he can give you some scoring as well. And last season, Steve, perhaps his best offensively. Well, he's an underrated shooter from mid-range. And I think he came into the league pretty raw. But now that he's in his 30s, he's really improved that shooting stroke. Something that most players do over the course of their careers because of all the work they put in. Boy, the floor really opened up for him there. He sure did. A good job getting it started before the defense can get itself set. Clippers trailed by 15. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, gentlemen, the Clippers upgrading their roster this summer, and new coach Doc Rivers feels the new players put them in great position. He said, quote, they're great fits. They get who they are. They're over themselves. They're just trying to win and do whatever it takes. He added, we want to be the winner. We don't just want to do a lot of winning. They've done that. Guys, the expectation is clearly to contend for an NBA title. Yeah, building chemistry on the court will be their focus. Thanks, Doris. And Dudley kicks to Griffin. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And he gets it to go. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Dallas calls timeout. And the Clippers making a change here. Mullins is checked in. 
Mavericks leading by 13. Boy, you look at the Clippers, and they clearly are one of the most entertaining teams in the NBA. One of the outstanding team shows you'll see. They have fun. They're up and down. But they're a hard-working group, and a lot of that you have to attribute to their leader, Chris Paul. Well, Clark, as you were taking a look at the Clippers, they are a fun team, an amazing product so far with big names all around. But, you know, Steve, they've, they've got to work hand-in-hand to make sure they're always at their best and, and not take things for granted. Well, I think it's a, still a, a team that's a work in progress. You've got a, a young front line in Griffin and DeAndre Jordan, great point guard in Paul, but the new additions have helped, and I think it'll be interesting to see if this team can gel during the playoffs. Clippers trail by 11. Collison for three. Goes back up. And the bucket is good. Coming on the layup that time from Mullins. Mullins got his second basket of the game. Ellis goes in. Pass to Harris. To the paint. Stolen by Jamison. And here's Dudley for three. And the shot is good. Dudley's got five points in the quarter. Oh, man, they needed a run to get back into this game, and they got it. And a good one, defensively and offensively. It's been a terrific stretch for him. Shot's good. And that's 11 points for Monte Ellis. They've stepped up their three-point shooting game in the second half. They're letting it fly out there with reckless abandon. Now they're feeling confident, and they're in a good flow offensively, so why not just keep firing from out there? Lays it in off the breakaway. And it's an 11-point Maverick lead. While they're winning the speed game, guys, getting out in transition. Well, I like the energy they play with offensively and in the open court. Tremendous flow. Oh, oh boy, he is just cold as ice. I don't think he's going to be the one to help them cut into the lead. Devin Harris settling into a scoring combo guard role last season in Atlanta. He's quick off the dribble, is a streaky three-point shooter, and because of that combination, he's able to keep defenders on their heels. Here's Carter. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Carter's got 20. Defensively. Piling up the points and route to this big lead, guys. I mean, they've been unstoppable. And for Harris, his outside shot had been his weakness offensively. The last few seasons, though, Steve, some of the best shooting from long distance. Around 35%, in fact, from the three-point line the last three seasons, Kevin. So, you know, he's not a lights-out shooter, but he's become respectable from that range. Unfortunately, his free throw attempts have diminished of late. Maybe he's lost a step athletically. Crawford passes to Dudley. Stolen by Carter. And he's going up for the alley-oop. They're playing with a purpose, guys. The big lead becoming bigger. I like the look in their eyes. And it's on both ends that they've been controlling the action. Over to the wing. Collison against Harris. Collison kicks to Jamison. Five to shoot. Crawford outside. Good. Crawford's got ten points in the game. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. Ellis kicks to Carter. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. An easy layup after coming off the pit. Carter's got 10 points in just the second half. Boy, what a nice third quarter surge they've got going on right now. You know, Steve, never a better time than the third quarter, in my mind, to get the momentum going your way. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. Well, he just didn't make the catch. Didn't look the ball into his hands. He must have thought the ball was going somewhere else. Jordan with it. Dudley is just to Griffin. Cannot hit. Pretty good defense there. I mean, that's a shot that he can make, but he really challenged him. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Mavericks lead by 15.
And we'll get going after this from the American Airline. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Clippers trail by 15. Jay Crowder out there with Nowitzki. Then there's Calderon. Then it's Ellis. And it's Dallenbear in at the five spot. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. That's a shot you've got to take if you're looking for the three-pointer. I mean, the defense is nowhere around. Ellis with it. Now defended by Reddick. Shots good by Ellis. Ellis has got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here. Dallas. He has great dexterity inside. He can contort his body, shift in midair, hang time. He can protect the ball and finish through contact. Just an impressive player in the paint. And, Steve, that's not a skill that most players have. I mean, that's exactly why they try to feed it to him in the paint whenever possible. And, guys, let's get your take on the hustle steps for the Mavericks. Now, we've seen them make that extra effort rotating from the weak side, closing out on their airspace, sending shots back. Something else they've done is force a lot of mistakes defensively. They've been turning those turnovers into points. And J.J. Redick picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. They get a bet. Nowitzki in the post. He's against Jordan. And the shot is good from Nowitzki. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. Yeah, the defense has been futile here. Five of the last six field goals in the lane. They're simply living and dying from behind the arc in this second half. And um, I don't think that's the way to go here. They're trailing. The three-point shot can be used, but they've got to balance it out. It's tipped. And here we go. Fast break. Paul's got it. The shot is off. And the Mavericks going the other way now. And that's an intentional foul. I have no idea why he was fouling there. And even the foul, I mean, you can't be wrapping guys up like that. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. That's a meaningless play. Vince Carter, who's checked in for the Mavericks. Harris comes in for Jose Calderon. Mavericks leading by 17. Nowitzki sets a screen for Carter. And J.J. Redick picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Antoine Jameson's checked in for Los Angeles. We're in the fourth quarter here. 